passionate about music. <laughs> Kesha, great to see you. Good to see you too. How are you? Amazing, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. You're here in London. Yeah, I love it here. Miserable weather. I don't mind. I kind of like it. It makes it feel spooky. So are you doing a whole week of promo here? You're here for a week? Yeah, I'm here, I think, like four or five days. Yeah. I lose track of what day it is and what month it is. We were just chatting just off air there and you <laughs> said that there wasn't enough time for partying, which is always a, no, a I, bad I, thing. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> it's just it's what I do. I can't even do it. But you are here to promote your album cause yeah. you're, and your single, Die Young, which yeah. we're playing on Gaydar as well. But Thank the new you. album, Warrior, fantastic. I heard it this afternoon for the first time. The whole thing? Just bits, just clips, I snippets before I came out. And I've got to say, punchy, hardcore, kind of quite aggressive in a really vibrant way. Good, I love that. Out Thank there. you. It's out there, love it. It's perfect for Gaydar as well. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I've been very much inspired by a lot of my friends that are gay or lesbians, transgender. We have some mutual friends in common. Well, I was just going to say, because it's dedicated to the LGBT community, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the the title Warrior is for my fans, but it's super relevant to a lot of my fans that have to deal with online scrutiny and hate and bullshit for just being themselves. So yeah. that's kind of what that song was even written about. Uh, you once said that you're not gay or straight, which I loved. Yeah. Because you just love people regardless of I brackets do. and labels. You don't do labels. No. I mean, I think that once you slap a label on anything, it is a bummer. Yeah. So, how would you describe where you when you hang out in the evenings when you go out partying? Do yeah. you just go to gay clubs, or do you just go to clubs that you just love? Because I don't think there's any such thing as gay or straight clubs anymore. I think it's just just clubs. Yeah. Um, it's just good clubs and bad clubs. Yeah, that is definitely true. I usually, actually, if you want the honest truth, I go to metal bars, and I go try to hit on dudes that have giant beards and like have too many terrible tattoos and like <laughs> ride motorbikes and have no idea who I am. Hence the lyric, I like your beard. Yeah. Which I actually remember you saying to me. You used to have a beard. Part of it. I'm doing November, so I've shaved it all off. Oh, I like that though. I'm Just very much charity. into mustaches. Oh, well, the clony look? Yeah. Foolish people. Or, See, or I, like I, I kind of, that makes me think of I'm from the South. So that's like a, a trash stash. Trash stash? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to use that. It's good. I will, I will obviously name check you as well at okay, the time. Thank you. Cred- credit <laughs> you for it. Trademark. Uh, tell us about the new album because it is Warrior. Yeah. Fantastic follow up to the first album, thank which I you. loved as well. Thanks. I spent a lot of time on this one, so I just wanted to get it right. You know what I mean? And I really wanted to bring in some guitars and kind of meld the music I listen to off stage with the kind of music I make, which I, I love pop music and I want to make a pop record, but I want to bring in some guitars and write some kind of a little more in your face, no auto tune, no vocal trickery, just fuck off songs yeah. where I get to scream. Like yeah. the one I do with Iggy Pop, it's just a screaming. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm so glad that you did that collaboration because I think you both sound fantastic together. Thank and you. I've heard so many people that have heard it that have said really? the same thing as well, Thank that it's you. such a great collaboration. That one's probably my favorite song on the record. Your, your favorite of all of them? I think maybe. That one, I mean, it's kind of a tie between Dirty Love, Love Into The Light. Crazy lo- Kids. See, Crazy Kid. yeah, I love Crazy Kids too. I love Warrior, the You've opening You've got such track. a potty mouth on Crazy Kids as well. I love that. I do. Yeah, there's no expletives like censored there. It's just like whatever it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's what I love. <laughs> I obviously can't play it on the radio though. I know. Unless we censor it, there's no point in get, censoring it. Get just go and buy it. it. Sure. Yeah, just listen. go get it. Yeah. So do you prefer it to the first album? And how do you, because it, it's still electronic, isn't it? Even though you've yeah. got more guitars. Of course. Going. I never wanted to abandon what kind of music I'm known for making. I just wanted to also incorporate some guitars because I play guitar and I love cock rock and I love old school rock and roll. So why not? put the two together a little bit you know there's a little influence of daft punk which you can probably hear and yeah. then there's a little influence of black sabbath and then there's beastie boys and i know that sounds really strange but somehow i hope it works but i think that's the best kind of music because <laughs> it's eclectic and it's there's no rules there you're just doing it because you love doing it and, it's and why not just try it i don't think there are really any rules when it comes to making music is that like your music taste though have you have you got quite a broad yeah, Tasty it's music. bizarre. It's weird. Like, I'll go from listening to, this morning, Queen, to later on in the afternoon when I need to pick me up, I put on Calvin Harris. And when we're done, I might go listen to, who knows, Beck or 
the Beastie Boys. Like, it's all over the place. Or I love Hank Williams. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't yeah. know what to tell you guys. I That's like everything. <laughs> the thing I love about finding out more about you as the time's gone on over the last few years, I never knew that you actually married a couple of lesbian friends of yours. I did, yeah. You did a commitment ceremony. I did. Because you were allowed to do that, too. Yeah. You, that was great. I know. Was, they're really good friends of mine. And they asked me to do it, of course. And I'm ordained. So Yeah, why not? absolutely. And I never knew that. Yeah. That's random, but I loved cool that. Though. It was a really special day, actually. So were these like really good friends of yours? Yeah. Just friends that you've met recently? No, really close friends of mine. Um, yeah, I've been friends with her for years and years. And she's one of my closest friends and one of the people I trust the most on the planet. And she was kind of she's kind of like me. She loves people. She's dated men. She's dated women. And then yeah. found the woman. She it was her soulmate. Was it a good day? Amazing day. Because it's amazing when you see two people come together that are supposed to be together. Yeah, and presumably you're a supporter of gay marriage because this, oh, especially in the states, presumably, of so course much I am. Of a fight, you know. About I know that. it's, you know, I don't understand it. Are you quite outspoken for that though? Because uh, uh, obviously, pop stars have this, they have this weight, don't they, that they can actually. Yeah, I think it's really. People. I think it's amazing that I have a platform of you know twenty one or something million people on Facebook and a couple million on Twitter that I can talk to and tell them you know my opinions on certain things and not everybody agrees but i personally think that you know marriage doesn't mean anything unless everybody can do it in the name of love so sure I, uh, do you love twitter because I, I, i'm all over twitter and i Facebook am all over twitter well. i do but i mean it's just i just love chatting with my fans we have like some really weird conversations on there and i tweeted that i wanted them to give me their teeth to make <laughs> jewelry out of and i got over a thousand human teeth <laughs> There's a track on your first album called <laughs> Steven. Yeah. Which we've got to talk about because this was an ex of yours, is that right? Well, he's not an ex. He, I just used to follow him around, but whatever. But you think he might be gay? or <gasps> Maybe. I have seen him making out dudes, so it's kind of up in the air. We don't know. Again, he's probably like Kesha. He's just he might just be like me. We might in the waters, maybe. Just we might just love going everybody. With whoever. I might just love to make if out, too. If the moment's too. right. Right. <laughs> Do you sometimes wish that you were a gay man? Again, are you joking? I read I'm this comment. Too, yes, I do. Why is that? I don't know. There's just an energy to a gay man that has, you know, it's not really comparable to any other people. You guys just really, you just exude just this happiness. You obviously haven't seen the bitches that I've seen then. I mean. <laughs> Pretty much my whole touring party, like as far as like the dancers, are it's a lot of gay, beautiful, beautiful men. Yeah, and that know how to party as well. <sighs> yeah, they do, and they're just gorgeous, and their love of life is amazing, and they're just I don't know, they're just really magical people. And you were in the Kate Perry video. I mean, this is going back what three, four years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was to pay my bills girl. like four years ago. I never knew that until recently yeah. either. I've been living under a rock, obviously. Yeah, no, we were friends before either of us made it. Because that was quite, you know, I mean, it was quite out there for, for the whole vibe of that. You know, a lot of, it got a lot of people's backs up, gay people's backs up, saying that she was being phony and being fake. Oh, but obviously she's, she knows what she's doing. Katy Perry. I think so. I mean, she's doing well for herself now. Yeah. Are you friends? I mean, we are friendly when we see each other, but I never see her. I see her at award shows once a year. But yeah, we're friends. And Adam Lambert, who's been to see us a few times at Gaylord House, he says you're a great kisser. Oh. You were making out. <laughs> You said, you're not supposed to kiss and tell Adam. That was Providence, by the wasn't way. it? In New York. <laughs> what? The club Providence? Oh, yeah, maybe that was where. I don't really remember. It was You've just forgotten. <laughs> like it's some after party way too late. <laughs> too much trouble with that. That's always a good sign, one. though, isn't it? If you can't remember the details. <laughs> I don't know. Or a bad sign. Depends on how, <laughs> how the night went down. Uh, now, something else we've, we've heard last couple of weeks, which is really maybe strange. I don't know. Maybe not some people. About the ghost thing. Oh. You said that you've made out with spirits yeah what's all that about well i used to live in this house and there was like an energy there that was really weird and it was very sexual and it was kind of one of the reasons i moved into this place i was moved <laughs> into this like flop house had the weirdest energy and then i moved in this room and it just was this energy that used to wake me up and i literally would wake up and see a shadow on the wall i would never actually see a person but it was always like there was a force things there. would move and then are you scared? A l I mean, at the time, a little bit, but I like scaring myself. 
So you'd nothing. be a fan of horror movies as well. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I nothing is scarier than jumping out of an airplane. Actually, that's not true. The only thing scarier than jumping out of an airplane is doing live television. Playing live on TV is so scary because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, sure. But yeah, so back to the ghost. He just would wake me up and he was like this like pervert, sexy ghost. And we would have pervy, sexy ghost time. Oh, my God. You need to write a song about this unless you have already. I did. It's oh, called you Supernatural. Oh, it's on the album. Yeah. There you go. Another That's plug how for everybody Warrior. knows about it. It's because <laughs> they were like, what's Supernatural about? And I was like, well, if you want the real an- answer, if you want the real answer, it's a sexy time with a ghost. There you go. Do people know that already? That, that I think it's written some about people that? know that. I don't know if everybody does, but they should yeah. know. Yeah. Have you heard of a show called TOWIE? The Only Way is Essex, which is no. big here in, what is in Britain. It's like a reality TV show. And there's this... Have you heard of a vajazzle? Oh, yeah, of course. That you get decorated mm. down in your... Pussy? Yeah, front front <laughs> garden, that's because... Because <laughs> pussy is different in America, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Or you could say your front butt. Your front butt. Front <laughs> bottom or your back bottom, like French and Sauna said. <laughs> Love it. So, they, I mean, this is... Because it just made me think of you, not for that reason, but because it's glitter and it's decoration, isn't it? I love that. And you love... Uh, would you think of doing that? Or I maybe mean... You've, Am I getting personal now? No, I mean, the only time I've ever vajazzled, I vajazzled a picture of a unicorn. And that was just because I lost a bet. So I have done it once. It was really ridiculous. Okay. But I did walk around like laughing at myself the whole time knowing that there was a vajazzled unicorn on my vagina. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> There's another track which I love on um, your first album called Dinosaur. Yeah. Which is a bit of a dig about old men. Yeah. And old men coming on to you maybe that you would think, oh, please. Well, old like, ladies have a I'm name. Gonna be interested? Oh, really? Cougars. Uh, uh, of course. But that's more complimentary though, isn't it? Than yeah. Dinosaur. Dinosaur's a little, I mean, I think old friendly? guys are hot. Oh, did, oh you really? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, somebody's actually asked us. Ashley wants to know if you ever dated a dinosaur. Um, it's one of our listeners. I usually like older guys. I mean, not like crazy older dinosaurs are for like i'm 25 dinosaur would be like a 50 year old hitting on me it's like really daddy dinosaur come on dilf a dilf (laughs) but (laughs) so have i ever dated a dinosaur no i usually go for like mid 30s because you're obviously a bit younger than me anyway but i would i would probably go for an older guy as well yeah but that's like not much older but i'm a Older. You're not a dinosaur hunter? <laughs> yeah, a daddy dinosaur oh, hunter. God. <laughs> I've got to congratulate you on your Deconstructed EP. Thanks. Have you heard it? I, I love it. Thank I love you. Um, Die Young as well, which I, I, I wasn't totally surprised because I knew, because I'd seen you live before and I knew that you could really, really sing. Because there is sometimes, there are some people that, because there's a lot of electronic trickery and you, you, you sample stuff and some people don't realise that actually when you strip everything back, Oh my God, you're amazing. You are amazing. Thank you. And you've got no, a great that voice. Was what I wanted to do with this record, I just wanted to sing. Like, Deconstructed is just exactly that. It's deconstructing all the electronic stuff and making it really organic. And it's all about the song and my voice. And I think it's a great idea because you are renowned for, for having that electronic yeah. feel to your songs. And it's nice to hear something completely different. Well, I just think it's back. cool to surprise people. Like, anytime you think you know... Pull the Everything carpet I away from do. their feet. Well, I'm going to do something different. Yeah. I saw you at Glastonbury last year, festival. That was so fun. It was fantastic. It was so hot and humid as well. Oh, it was brilliant. I and remember. You strapped a guy to cross. Yeah. You ripped out his heart. Well, yeah. not physically. Yes, I did. No, oh, no, you did. I did. Sorry. His real Ruined heart. Ruined everything. <laughs> and you um, you ripped out his heart and you drunk his blood. That's, yeah. It's great. A lot of people That's would, what I do. Like, weird. I but, wrote a record called Cannibal. Yeah. I warned everyone. <laughs> you warned everyone. So, Maybe you shouldn't have warned people. Consider yourself <laughs> warned. <laughs> On the reverse of that, you had glitter cannons going off. Yeah. Completely crazy, feel good, hair on the back of the neck stuff. Oh, good. Glitter going everywhere. That's, you know, I have kind of really given the glitter industry a severe boost. Yeah. I feel like. Like, I, when I'm on tour, I have an entire semi truck. Full of glitter. All it is is the glitter semi. You, you roll yourself in baby oil and bathe in the stuff, yeah. don't you? Well, that's a how I get it on. Bathtub of. It's just the easiest way to put it on. <laughs> I swear to you. <laughs> and, you know, I'm really just a connoisseur of glitter and I really know my shit when it comes to glitter. It's brilliant. And so at my shows, I really want everyone to leave with just at least one piece just stuck a to speck their body of somewhere. Yeah. Tell us about the new single, Die Young, because we love it. 
Thank you. Straight on the A-list again. Uh, <gasps> Thank you. Everyone's requesting it. Yay, People are voting for it in the Your Choice chart. Thank it's, you. It's brilliant. And it's a good, it's a good taste with the album, isn't it? Yeah, I definitely. It's my philosophy on life. Um, like We're Gonna Die Young is how I try to live my whole life every day, every night. And not to worry about the future or the past or forever, just right now. It's a great sentiment, isn't it? Yeah. Make the most of what you got while it's there. Yeah. And you sang it a cappella style on the on the tube as well on the underground. Well, obviously in America. On the tube. On the tube. It would be the tube here. Oh, on TV. Uh, on on the metro. Oh yeah, that was in Japan. That's bold. I could never do that. And that was very like everyone was like, "Shut up!" I could <laughs> tell, but they didn't say it. They just looked at me with these eyes that were like, "Stop that." <laughs> <laughs> but you must have had people recognizing you. <laughs> no. Oh, really? Everyone just thought I was like a crazy hobo that was singing really loud. <laughs> Cause people don't do that in Japan. Like the subway's very quiet. Yeah. And I think I woke a man up that was sleeping next to me. It's a little ridiculous, but that was funny. Kesha, it's fantastic to meet you. Nice to meet you uh, too. Have fun while you're here in London, and we'll I wish you all the best. Do with Warrior Thank new album you. and the new single Die Young. Great Thank to see you. you. Passionate about music.